Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be talking about your best front hitch options for your 2011 Ford F-150. So we're going to be looking at two different hitches today. Up top here we're going to have the draw tight and below it we're going to have the curb. Now before we get too careful to point out which hitch I would personally choose for my own truck, and I think I'd have to go with the draw tight. That's for a couple of different reasons primarily, and that's going to have to do with clearance and the appearance of it. So that clearance is going to be one of the big differences between the two hitches. The draw tight's going to be a few inches longer, and so what that means is that the receiver tube opening here is going to be closer to the front bumper of our truck. So more or less, it's going to make it easier to hook up our accessories, and it's going to kind of open up our options as far as what accessories can use. Now, that doesn't mean that the Curt won't work great for snow plows or winch plates, anything like that. Just this extra space or clearance rather is really going to make your life just a little bit easier. And that next big difference has to do with the appearance of the hitch whenever it's on the front of your truck. The draw tights cross tube is going to be a little bit thinner than the Curt. So that draw tight is just going to kind of hug the bottom of your truck better and make it a little less noticeable whenever it's on. Today we actually have the draw tight on our F-150 and I just kind of want to show you it on the truck so you can understand those differences a little bit better. Just to kind of put it in perspective, as you can see the end of the receiver tube opening is going to sit about right here as to where the curt would be somewhere back in here. And you really can't see the hitch at all other than the receiver tube opening because that cross tube is going to be for the most part pretty much hidden behind your front fascia. But other than that the hitches are going to be pretty similar to each other. They're both going to have a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening as well as a reinforced collar for extra strength. They're both going to have the standard 5.8 size pen hole. Now keep in mind a pen and clip does not come with either hitch but if you need one you can find it here at eTrailer. Now the draw tight is going to have a smaller hole in front of our hitch pin hole and that's going to allow us to use a J-pin which is a stabilization device and that will help eliminate any rattle or play in our connection point here and with these front mount hitches regardless of what accessory you do plan on using I would recommend picking one of these up because that little bit of movement in the front you're a lot more prone to feel that as opposed to if you had an accessory on the back of your truck. Now, even though the Curt doesn't have that smaller hole in front of the Hitchman hole, keep in mind there are still other many types of stabilization devices that'll work just fine with this, and you can find those here at eTrailer. Both of the hitches are going to share the same weight capacities. They're gonna have a 500 pound maximum tongue weight rating. So that's gonna be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. We're both going to have a 5,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating and a 9,000 pound straight line pole rating, which is typically used for your winches. Now, as far as the installation goes, they're both going to be pretty much the same. Really, the only difference I found depends on what submodel your truck is. Some are going to require one or two extra steps or a little more trimming here and there. But other than that, pretty much identical. So overall, you're going to have a couple of good options and both are going to get the job done just fine. And that'll finish up our look at of your best front hitch options for your Ford F-150. I hope you find this information useful and it helps you decide what front mounted hitch to get for your truck.